He's a certified bucket getter for the team with the best overall record in the Eastern Conference. Nobody averages more points per game coming off the bench than Tyler Hero. Yes, he's averaging more points per game than legendary six men like Jamal Crawford or even Manu Ginobili ever averaged. And Vegas has him as the absolute running away favorite for six man of the year. So without further ado, let's send it down to my home city of Miami, the 305, where Malika Andrews is standing by with Tyler Hero. Malika? Absolutely. Absolutely, George. I am down here in South Beach where the rain outside, it is dangerously looming, and I am here <laughs> with Tyler Hero. And George Sedano just talked about how you are right now the runaway favorite for six man of the year. You're averaging just over 21 points per game this season. But I've seen the videos of you boxing. I've seen the workouts with your dad. I know that strengthening was a point of emphasis this year for you. How has that unlocked another level of your game? Um, you know, it's just added strength. You know, it's just, there's a bunch of different places on the court that, you know, it helped me out. Mm. Um, getting to the rim, getting to the basket, getting to my spots, um, being more physical, you know, getting to guys' bodies. And, um, you know, it helped my confidence too. And then also, you know, the defensive end on that side of the ball, I'm allowed to, it allows me to, you know, be more physical and uh, stay in front of my guys and, um, you know, just overall strength can help anybody. Absolutely. You mentioned sure. confidence. There were folks who, when you all were, did what you did in the bubble, got all the way to the finals, yeah. you were bounced in the first round of the playoffs last year. They said it was a fluke. The bubble, that was just the perfect circumstances for the Miami Heat. Mm -hmm. The way that this team is playing this year, is that sort of any sort of redemption or validation to those folks to say, uh-uh, that's not who the Miami Heat are? Yeah, I mean, now you can see, you know, we play, we can play well outside of a bubble. Um, you know, we're, we're at the top of the East right now, and, you know, we know how deep it is in, in the East, and, you know, we're outside of a bubble, we're ready for the playoffs, ready to continue to get better every single day, and uh, we feel like we have a, put ourselves in a position to be able to compete, you know, for a title. I would say if you're the number one seed in the East, yeah. you're, you're putting yourselves in a position. We're not dangerously looming anymore, tell them that. Not dangerously <laughs> looming anymore, the Heat have arrived, but for you, Six man of the year talk. Are, are you the six man of the year? I mean, that's for you guys this side, but I believe so. Um, you know, there's a, a bunch of great bench players, but at this point, I feel like, you know, I've done my part. Um, I'm on the best team, and we uh, we should be six man of the year. And Bam Adebayo? Defensive player of the year, Spo coach of the year. Um, <laughs> me and Bam, we talk about it all the time. I got to put my guy Bam, so make sure y'all vote for him, Def defensive player of the year. Bam out of bio, defensive player of the year. But speaking of Bam, you, Bam, Kyle Lowry, Jimmy Butler, you've only played 82 minutes together over 18 games this season. Mm -hmm. What gives you the confidence that it can translate to the playoffs, even if you haven't been on the court together a whole lot? Um, I mean, a bunch of vet veteran guys who've been there before. I think I'm, I'm obviously the youngest mm -hmm. um, with Bam, who's – you know, he's been an all-star, he's been to the finals, been through a pl couple playoff runs now. So, um, you know, I think we just got a bunch of guys who've played the game of basketball and know how to play it the right way. Um, you know, with our, us four, I think that we can, you know, play, just throw us in there and we'll be able to figure it out on the fly and um, make things happen, make things work. Absolutely. For sure. With going back to the sixth man of the year, <clears throat> just briefly, when we talk about you being sixth man of the year, mm -hmm. oftentimes when you're looking at a sixth man, it's a veteran, right, who's changed their role potentially and then come off of the bench in that role. Yeah. How does it make you feel when you think about being so young and already <laughs> being in that conversation? Uh, I mean, it's it's a blessing and testament to my hard work. My, my teammates and coaches trust me with the ball. You know, in the in in the game, in the situations, you know, they trust me with the ball, and you know, I think that can't be taken for granted. You know, having teammates and coaches that really trust me and allow me to be myself. Well, the Eastern Conference, it is certainly. What did I say off camera? It's formidable. It's yeah. challenging. It is difficult. <laughs> and Tyler said, "Yeah, it's hard." Make sure to note that for you. Who is the most challenging, formidable opponent that you're looking at in the Eastern Conference? I mean, you know, after the deadline, you know, there's. A couple, about five, six teams that can really, you know, yeah. make a run at it. But for me, I would say Milwaukee's uh, one of the top teams in the East. I think that can, you know, obviously make a run, defending champs. Um, Giannis MVP. I mean, there's a bunch of guys that they have, and um, I think that we can, you know, play them to, to hopefully go to the finals. What does PJ Tucker say about that? I mean, he's ready for it. Yeah. You already know. <laughs> he's ready to he's ready to play his former team and, you know, try to get back to the finals. Absolutely, especially after what happened in the first round last year. Sure, Maybe there's yeah. something to avenge there. Yeah, there is. We're ready. And, and clearly, from talking to the guys around the heat today, from seeing them in the practice facility, <laughs> you all are ready. Tyler yes, Hero, are. thank you so much. Thank really so appreciate much. it. The heat, what did you say, no longer dangerously looming? Dangerously looming. We are not anymore. Not anymore. Count not dangerously in. looming. George Sedano, <laughs> back to you.
Thank you, Malika. Have a cafecito for me there in Miami. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.